Hey everybody, it's Mickey. I'm so glad that you are here today. So, did you realize that spring is only two weeks away? I am such a cold weather girl that sometimes I like to hold on to winter a little bit longer than I should, but it's finally getting warmer here in Virginia and I think I might be ready for spring. So I thought that we would begin our spring decorating together by decorating my china bar for spring. So my china cabinet here in the family room is one of my favorite things to decorate. Now this was an old cabinet that we chalk painted a few years ago and I have been loving using the bar area to decorate for the season. To get started though, I have to remove all of this winter decor, wipe it all down so that we can decorate for spring. I have to admit that I am sorry to see winter go. Fall and winter are my favorite seasons of the year. I just love everything about them. I love the colors, I love the clothes, I love the crisp cold air, but you know, there is something about spring that gives you that feeling of starting over again, and you know, that can really be a good thing. I like to start off with my Panero Bordalo plates. They are just that perfect color green that I really love in this room. And for spring, I found this wooden rabbit sign from Mulberry Market Designs online. It's the perfect color and size for the middle of my cabinet. I like to add a little bit of florals and for spring, I have this lamb's ear garland that I found at Hobby Lobby. Somewhere on the bar, I like to have my vintage metal dish rack. This was one of my most favorite Amazon finds. I'll leave a link to it down below for you. I just have it sitting on a wooden charger plate that I found at Kirkland's. I like to change out the dishes on it for the season. So for spring, I have these adorable bunny plates that I got years ago at Williams and Sonoma. It's also a great spot to add a bunny from my collection along with a set of Ray Dunn measuring cups. I like to keep things balanced, so I'm gonna be using the tiered tray that I got in the Easter Deco Crated box that I shared with you in my last video. Now you guys know how much I love tiered trays. They can hold so many things in such a small space. I found these felt carrots at Home Goods. The carrot patch sign was also in the Easter Deco Crated box. Here I am adding my spring Ray Dunn measuring cups. I like to stack these so I fill the bottoms of the cups up with rice so that the cups can be, you know, a little separated and you can see the designs on each one. I have a few pieces of the Easter Ray done from several years ago. I really love this little sugar container from the Peep tea set. I do like to bring out my seasonal collection to decorate with. I really think that it is still so cute and lends perfectly with my type of decorating. I was a huge Ray Dunn collector several years ago and although I don't add to my collection very often, I still really love it and use it. So in the middle here, I want to include some family photos. I use family pictures in all of my decorating. To me, it is just so comforting to see the faces of all the people that I love throughout my home. The first picture there is of my son Daniel when he graduated from college. And then the next picture is very special because I don't have very many of my brother and I together with my mom. And this picture was taken on the occasion of my brother's first 
First Communion way, way back in the 70s. It is one of my most favorite photos and I remember that day so well. So to fill in around the photos, I'm just adding small pics of lamb's ear and then I think this bar area is finished. I usually add some kind of wreath or an arrangement hanging from the cabinet doors and I found two options that I could use. They're both hanging baskets that I can put some arrangements in. One is an old longer burger basket. The other one I think is the, probably the one I'm going to use. It is a Lauren wreath basket that goes so well with the seagrass baskets that I already have in the cabinet. So floral arrangements can be a challenge for me. I am much better making wreaths. My method for arranging is basically keep adding things until it starts to make sense and that's basically what I'm doing here. I like to have something that cascades down one side and I have these really pretty leafy greens that I found at Hobby Lobby to start the whole process off with. I also have some of these kind of twig picks that I want to add add in the back to start adding a little bit of height and then I'm going to add some lamb's ear and other greenery until it's pretty full. I also have this cute twine bunny ear pick to kind of balance off the other side and then I'll add some pretty white flowers to give it a little bit of brightness. I found these small paper white flowers at Hobby Lobby last week and I really love them for spring arrangements because they are so light and pretty that they are the perfect addition to just about anywhere and they also add just a little bit of light to what is basically a green arrangement. To add a bow to an arrangement like this, I like to tie it or attach it to a stick pick. It makes it so easy to place the bow exactly where you want it to go. This is that birch tree ribbon that I was talking about. In my last video, I was able to find several more rolls of this ribbon online. I just think that it is so pretty and neutral. It is the perfect addition to this arrangement. I am really happy with the way that the china bar and cabinet came together. I know I'm going to be fussing with that arrangement over the next couple days, but for now I think that it looks great and it is such a good start to my spring decorating. This was so much fun putting this video together. You know, I get asked all the time what my process is when I decorate and honestly, I don't have a process. I usually find like an inspiration piece and I go from there. I tend to stay very casual and homey with my decorating. It's just what makes us feel most comfortable here at home. If you liked today's video, leave me a comment down below because I would love to share more step-by-step -step decorating with you all instead of just one large decor tour at the beginning of the season. So thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you'll join our communities over on Facebook and Instagram at My Bashful Life. Check the description box down below for any links mentioned in today's video. If you are new here, I hope you'll take a minute to subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other, stay safe, and I will see you again soon. Bye.